Hello, a couple of days ago the Amia simp told me about this bug and yesterday I got a request to do a video at 4 guards only on CV8. Since the bug is Moose exclusive, let's go over them in one video. I'll go into more detail about the bug. When we get to it in the video, you can go and read the Amia simp description too if you want. We start with Tarin, so his kill charges quickly as possible, and we can kill two of the AFK defenders. We will need it back up in a bit for the four of the defender that spawns from the bottom. Utage is used to kill the skill shatter guy, and she also catches the axe. She can kill the axe on her own, even off skill because this defense is very low when he doesn't have stacks, but there's no need to do that. The axe AFK is here, Arin will finish it off in a bit. The moment the defender is in range, we activate his skill, and he'll kill it with health to spare. Also DPSs the skill shutter guy a bit, but that only helps redeploy the target faster. Big Hunter delays it a bit by taking a few stray hits, and the target is here to kill it. Matuimaru is in the top left to stall the boss a bit. We use her skill anytime she goes below 50% health. It's still phase 1, so he can't fully one shot her. And Moose kills the other axe dude. Here's half the reason we have Bee Hunter S2, so she can kill these three guys on her own. Moose kills the axe, but we don't retreat her. We leave her there to bait the revolver. Once it's fired, we throw her in at him. We're just buying time for Tagi to redeploy. The DP doesn't matter too much, since we have plenty of time to generate it later. And now we are on to the bug. Here's how it works. The hit vents reduce his, uh, the boss's attack by 70%. Moose reduces his attack by 40%. Normally, attack debuffs in Arc Knights stack multiplicatively. So normally how this should work is that he should end up with 15% of his attack, but Moose, and only Moose, reduces the enemy's attack with an additive buff. The hit vents for some reason are also additive, and when they are both applied together, the boss has zero attack, and he is completely incapable of doing any damage, no matter how high his actual attack is. We use Bee Hunter to charge up the hit vents to increase the uptime, and Matuimaru for her self-healing, since she takes some damage from the hit vents. Once the boss is down, we retreat everything except Matuimaru, and we have Utage clean up the three defenders on the bottom. Matuimaru stows the boss a bit more. We just want to make sure that she is retreated before the boss skill charges up. No hit vents, so he can one-shot her now. And since we stalled him before even his first AFK points, all of the enemies will be killed before the boss even goes down the stairs. Arin DPS as much as possible, but mostly he's just buying time for moves. Now, we need Arin to die here. He needs to eat the attack from the axe guy, so Moose doesn't get immediately attacked when she's deployed. That little delay will allow us to kill him. Otherwise we run into a bunch of RNG because he's a, he will hit moots three times much faster. Because the axe guy drained all of the energy from the skill shutter guy, he couldn't do any damage to Moose. And now, the only thing that's left is the boss. We can't get a good Moose setup, because he has to one-shot something, and we don't have enough operators to set up to avoid the one-shot. And then have Matuimaru and Moose. So we'll have to sacrifice Matuimaru to avoid the one-shot, using the hit vent. Wait as long as possible. Because he has a 70% attack buff, he doesn't one-shot Matuimaru. But we can't get a smooth setup from here. 
so while the vent is down he'll be able to kill her. Now she has only a thousand health and she still survives the attack, thanks to the combination of debuffs. With the second bullet wasted, we switch to Utage, and you can see, while the vented moves of debuffs him, he does absolutely zero damage. Bee Hunter still charges the vent super fast, and it has almost 100% uptime. This will be very useful on CVX8.